But after that, when I get out, and I haven't changed since I was 13 years old, why change now? You don't grind, you don't need. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to eat. If I have to rob somebody, I'm gonna rob them. That's all I know. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I grew up here in El Paso, left when I was about 18, joined the military. Uh, what I've learned in working here is uh, the easiest way to do it is to respect everyone that comes in and out of this building, be it uh, your fellow officers, of course, the inmates. I mean, it just goes a long way real fast. El Paso County has been busy. Every agency's here. Border Patrol's here, DEA's here. The sheriffs are here. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? How you been, man? I was doing perfect until I went for a pack of smokes and I stopped by the cops and arrested for possession of marijuana. Yeah? One joint, buddy, one joint. You haven't been here in a while, man. I know, I was doing so good. I was, I was clean and everything. Saturday was my birthday. OK, let him take your picture. I'll talk to you in a minute, man. And remember, I'm that nigga Bob, y'all. Woo! Uh, I've been knowing him for like five years. He was here on federal charges for like a year and a half, so he was a pretty good trustee for us here on this floor, actually. Why are you here today? I'm here because I like to smoke weed and uh, <laughs> against the law. If you ever need a super trustee, man, I'll be in the area. All right, well, your charges aren't that severe, so you're not uh, going to be here that long. I'm on probation, though, man. Oh, so they're going to violate you. Yes, man. Can you believe it? Oh, Robert. I'm such a cool guy. Yeah. What happened, though? I was just walking down the street, man, and what? the cops said we were tree walking, so he stopped us. Uh huh. And you know, and I had a joint in my hand, and I was like, I gave it to him. Well, he what's this? What's jail. the simple assault you got? Oh, because I went like that when I was in a half in a halfway house. Yeah. And the guy didn't like it and called the cops on me. Yeah. Well, it's only a class C, so it's not that bad. Yes, ma'am. So then you're gonna be here for a while. Yes, ma'am. All right. We'll yes. we'll pull you down here. All right. Thank so you. So you can help us out. Thank you. Samantha, uh, you're here for possession of marijuana, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. How long have you been smoking marijuana? About a year. About a year? And you were talking to me earlier, gives you good conversations? Yes. <laughs> That's why you smoke weed, It's a good conversation? Uh, cool. And what do you do for work? Um, I dance. <laughs> dance? Uh, Exotic dance at Jaguars. Oh, yeah? How long have you been doing that? About two weeks. Two weeks? How do you like that job? <laughs> the dancing's not fun, but the money is. But the money is? Is that something you're planning on doing long term? Or no. <laughs> is this temporary? This is just me being young. <laughs> just you being young? It's like on your bucket list? <laughs> Be a stripper at some point in El Paso, <laughs> Texas at Jaguars. She probably makes a lot more than us. <laughs> what's, a, what's a good night at uh, Jaguars? Good night is $900. $900? Oh, like, did you take $9, home? Yes. Too many Christmas. <laughs> Officer Ibarra, you're correct. <laughs> you're going to make some big bucks and then put it aside and get your education? Yes, Very that's good. what it was about. <laughs> All right, Samantha, once again, you want $300, OK? That's a cool T-shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Are you sure I can use the phone? Yeah, go ahead and use the phone right down Thank there. Thank you. You're welcome, Samantha. Good luck. This gentleman here, he uh, just came from Juarez. He said that the cartels assaulted him because he wouldn't work for the cartels. They cut up his ear and they started shooting at him, so he ran. He said he made his way over here to the border for safety. OK, Barasaki, when the Border Patrol caught him, they had, he had charges in El Paso from 2007, unrelated. OK, senor, pues que bueno que está aquí. All right, Pablo. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Back to jail. All right, come on over here. All right, let me see your hands. 
So are you going to bond out or you're not going to bond out? Yeah, but not till morning, sadly. Who got you into that job? Sadly, it's going to be a bad influence, but it was my sister. Oh, uh, was she doing that too? Yes. How long has she been doing it? She had done it a lot longer than me since she was probably illegally 17. And um, she loved it, though. Does she? Well, it's entertainment, I guess. All right, well, good luck, OK? I'm going to take you to the other side. Yes, All right, you. Robert, stand right here. Yes, ma'am. OK, hands behind your back, guys. You're going to walk straight ahead to the other side, OK? We've got a lot of people who try to bring drugs across the bridge today. And we have a lot of possession of marijuana under two ounces. It takes a lot of manpower for that little charge. All right, you two go in there. Come on over here. So uh, any lessons from being in jail for the first time? Don't smoke weed when you walk. <laughs> How about don't smoke weed at all? How's that? Not while it's illegal. Yeah. It's while it's illegal. All right. Good luck, young lady. Thank You have to be booked in first. What's all the scratches and stuff on you? I'm a nurse. Too. Are you? Uh, Nurses should not be intoxicated. Come on, right here. Where'd they pick you up at? Went to the bar. You went to the bar? Yeah. I was just saying because I was by myself. Are you a working nurse right now? Oh, yeah. OK, well, th this is what's going to happen. They're going to book you in. You got to be ID, fingerprinted. I'm fixing to throw up. No, don't throw up now. Nah. I think I'm fixing to throw no, up. No, like don't this. give me the can here. Look here. Stop. Up, up, up. Ooh, I've got to move, 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 move. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home. Vicky, nothing coming out. Come over here, Vicky. Vicky, you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get you done. Okay. How long is it gonna take me? It's not gonna take long if you quit trying to act like you gonna throw up. We just have to pat oh, you down. Ooh, girl, I like that. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Spread your legs. Girl, don't, no, 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 don't make me do that. Baby look good when she back there. It ain't like that, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, and are you slowing down your own process, OK? So okay. so don't back it up no more, all right? I ain't, all right. Backing, I ain't backing it up now, Big Daddy. All right, put that hand on the counter. We got to let you soap up a little bit. Look, I got to go to work in the morning. All right. We're I'm going. a nurse. OK, we'll get you out by in the morning. All right. OK, watch out. Watch the door. I don't know. It shouldn't be much longer. All right. OK, All right. just go head on in there and have a seat. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey. What's up with that Vicky girl mm -hmm. you brought here? Yeah, she was at uh, Saltgrass right there at the restaurant, and she was causing disturbance. So we got there, she was pretty much really intoxicated and she would, she couldn't she didn't know she, where she was or it's back and forth. I mean yeah. right. she hated me, loved me, hated her, loved her so yeah, she's, the whole time. She's been cooperative on and off. So what are her charges gonna be? Public intoxication and disorderly conduct language. So she was using some uh, profane language at the hospital. Yeah. So. And the nurses were offended. Uh, yeah, it's overall the rest of the hospital, you know, patients inside there. There was lots of families in there tonight with it being Saturday. So wow. Difficult and, and loud. Being loud. Yeah. Wow. Difficult and loud is all. Thanks. All right, thank you guys. What were you intoxicated on? I drank like three beers. I'd been at the bar and I, I said my blood pressure felt bad, so I went over there and then I got aggravated with them. And so I. And I got to ask you, with it, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm a nurse. I'm not going to You're a nurse? Yeah. Okay, you came in for public intoxication. Yes. And disorderly conduct. I did not get that. Disorderly conduct language, OK? I probably did that. That's $200 a piece. Do you know your credit card information? I have cash, too, with okay, that. But, OK, I understand that. You're going to have to you have to call somebody, OK? They're going to have to go to Port Arthur Police Department. And they're going to have to pay your bond. So you're telling me I cannot pay my way to get out of here? No, ma'am. Their bond has to be paid in Port Arthur. They, they arrested you. The city of Port Arthur did. 
Okay. Where do I have to go to do this? Where okay. everybody is no. on the no, no, phone no. everywhere. Look, right. Okay. Uh, down here. Listen to me. Listen to me. When this the, makes no sense. Okay. When they get done with the phone over then here. Then I've got to sit in that freaking cell again for hours upon end. You're going to have to sit there until somebody goes down and pays your bond. Okay? Yeah. Go get on the phone down at the end yeah. of the counter. Down 90, your number. I'm at the Jefferson County Jail. Yes, the old who's got the town at 69. Okay, you got to go. You've got to go to Port Arthur Police Department. Go pay 400 bucks. When you get here, I can get out and I'll give you 400 bucks back. My cash and everything is there. Oh. Uh. Are you gonna do it or what? Because if you don't, then I'm gonna sit here like for two days or whatever. Billy, you idiot! Look, it better come down and get me. All right, bye. Hey, Vicky. Hey. What'd you find out? They're gonna come get me. Billy's coming to bump me out. Thank God. Who's Billy? Oh, he's my ex-boyfriend. That's what got me in trouble with all this. I shouldn't have been a drinking, but hey, you know. To drive fast? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, he might be here in an hour then. All right? Uh, Thank you, Vicky. Why not put me word? Don't fall down when you drink. That's pitiful. Hopefully, you learned something from this. All right. All right. Have a good night, Vicky. Here, man. Inside here. What's your name, sir? Juan. Juan. My name is Sergeant Rodriguez. All right. You hear me? All right. You have anything on you? Drugs, weapons, anything? You told us deputy Juan. You arrested me. I'm asking you a question. Do you have anything on you? I'm talking to you. you. Got anything else on you? You're stripping me down. So you. I'm find asking out. you. Do you have anything on you? Talk to my lawyer. That's fine. You okay, Juan? We'll check and make sure you got nothing on you. Oh, you got turns in my left arm. You can walk though, right? Turn around, sir. Come on. Oh, here, Juan. Damn. So what started was that uh, it was a suspicious vehicle. Mm -hmm. I was called down to the vehicle inside a field with mm -hmm. plants, and it was, it was supposed to be corn. When I get off, I'm asking the subject to get off the vehicle, and he's telling me, now, do I want you to come over here and say several words. Yeah, five medical, 1033. Level, 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 level. Watch, he was complaining about his... Limp down, limp down, limp down. Right. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, there he is. What's going on? What's you doing? Get the chair. Watch it, watch it. How's it going, sir? What happened? Well, it might be. Get the chair. Uh, let's just keep yeah, him in the chair for right now. Need... His vitals are good, so, yeah. yeah. His vitals are good. What was he arrested for? Uh, so he was arrested for, uh, for resisting and failure ID because he would not tell me his name and date of birth. We heard him yelling. Uh, what was that going on out there? Uh, he was just upset. He didn't want to, like, ID himself, and he wanted to fight me. He also threw a beer can at me. And... He was drinking, right? Oh, yes. And then when we get off here, he said he wanted to come here and he was going to beat everybody up. He's just been a combative. Everybody. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why am I stranded for this? Are you strapped down? For your safety. You collapsed. I'm not violent. Well, you were I'm early, not violent. earlier. You you acted a little bit violent, so that's the reason no, you're here. No, no, no. We'll get you out in a bit. I'm close to the party. I want to get used to be alone. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's just sleeping it off. He'll be right. Which one? But this one on the my right. right leg. Yes, sir, for favor. Let me stretch it. Put me in the hole. I don't care. Just leave me alone. OK, I'm going to loosen up the one leg so See, you can stretch yes, it out. Sir. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir, for favor. OK, stretch it uh, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you out. Okay. You already know what happens if I take you yes, out. Yes, yes. You're going to come right back in. Stand up. Oh, there you go. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, stand up. Let's go. Get up. Come on, come on. Oh, there you go. Oh. Come on, right here. Put your hands off. All right. Lay down Here, too. He had been planning up some cramps. Medical did clear him. Now that he's had a little bit of chance to cool off, he can go ahead and uh, sleep it off.
One? Yes, sir. Are you feeling? Do you remember? You uh, fainted on us? Uh-huh. You were intoxicated. You were yes, drunk. Sir. Yes, sir. How much did you have to drink that night? I uh, can recall. I know I had some beers, but okay. I can recall. But I know this is not my first rodeo. I know that. I know how you all So you've been here before? Yes, sir. What were the other times you were here for? Uh, DWIs. DWIs? DWIs, yes, sir. I don't go to town to our drinking or to the streets. I was a block away from my house. Are you going to learn Just from this? To chill. I have to learn. I want to be a grandfather, so I've got to change. I'm glad you're doing better, I all right? I apologize for the trouble it caused. I know that I did wrong. I didn't, I just wanted to time out. I timed out myself. The only, so the only person that's going to change this is you, Lopez. Myself. Okay? I understand that. Yes, sir. I apologize. You have a good night. You too. Now, seeing him sober, you can tell he is pretty aggressive. As much as I would like for him to change, this probably won't be his last time coming here. Why are you here again, Daniel? Just here for tickets, sir. <laughs> tickets? Tickets. Yeah. Well, tell me what happened to your arm there, man. My arm right here? Yeah. You know, just live, man. Caught my girl cheating, you know. How did you catch her? Well, well the message is, you know, talking to the guy. You caught her yeah. texting or talking? The texting and talking. And talking? What did, what did you hear? What is that? Nah, I don't want to get into the details, you know, just... She's not that I, I love old girl, you know, you know, she's a very independent woman, you know. She don't need no man in her life. She don't life. need no man in her life. But like I told her, man, let me know. She wants to be with me real. If not, I let her go, you know, because this is me mentally, you know. They like to ease my pain, you know. That's the only way I could find a way to ease my pain. Yeah. And what, it, what does it do? Just like it releases your it stress? It releases my stress, my your pain, mind off my of agony. Yes, sir. Have you ever thought of like doing something else when you're in pain, like working I, out, take a run? I take a walk around. There you go. You know, but it's like I'm just breathing air. You know, like there's times in life that you just want to give up. You know, but like you shouldn't. So you told her pretty much to let you know if you're she's that with she you wants or not. to be with me or let me go. That's <laughs> pretty mature on your part, man, because you didn't act up, you didn't get no family violence or anything. No. You just told her like a man, you know, like, hey, you know what? So how long ago did this happen that you caught her cheating? Almost a month. A month? You know, and I'm still talking to her because that's, I said. That's some true love. <laughs> I just, like, I love her, man. She's a wonderful woman. She's beautiful, she you treated know. you good. Inside out, she's smart. She's everything you know, a guy needs, you know. She ain't no hoe. And I'm grown now. I'm not no youngster no more, you know. I see things in life different. Right. Thank you for understanding my pain and yeah, of course, my, man. This, you know, life. Go ahead and put your shoes on if you want. Uh, you'll meet somebody else, man. Don't hurt yourself, man. Life is precious. Okay. Yes, sir. They're going to put you on the court list. That way, you, uh, tomorrow morning, it. you'll Thank go to court. You. You're going to wait over here. Go all the way to the end and have a seat on the bench. I'll go right now. Next. Come on up here, man. Just a bunch of tickets, man. Yeah, man. Most of your tickets okay. are uh, for alcohol, open containers. We got a few of those. Uh, I guess drug paraphernalia. Were you in possession of maybe I'm something? Pipe, tobacco pipe. Uh, littering, dumping. Did you throw something? They see you throw something or something? No. They just you gotta pick up your trash, put it in the man, trash I can. I always throw my trash. They just write tickets like crazy, man. In case of an emergency, do you want us to contact anybody? <laughs> my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah. You had a. I had to. <laughs> you were thinking of something. Yeah, and... I was gonna say my girl, but no. Why are you guys not in good terms right now? Yeah, is that what it is? But like, I told her I want a relationship, and she keeps on saying yes, but she keeps on booing. So you want the real boat. deal? Yeah. You <laughs> want that tuxedo? You want the honeymoon? Yeah. <laughs> Long walk in the park. Yes. Never had that, you know. Give it some time, it might work out. We'll see how she's gonna miss it. <laughs> not, not me not being there. True. The house tonight. <laughs> Plenty of women out there. Oh, Ain't no. no stress over dress. No. <laughs> and again, if you're gonna bond out or anything, your bond amount right now is uh, four thousand two hundred twenty-six dollars and thirty cents. That's okay. That's money I don't have, so just do the time I'll be, rather than I'll money. Be in here for a day or two, you know. If you need to make another phone call, you yes, can make sir. another phone call. Thanks, sir. You got it. 
You know, he's gonna have to either pay the fine or do the time. He was talking about his girlfriend. She's not ready, but it seems like he's ready. He's ready to do that settling down, take that tuxedo jump. She has to be ready, though. Exactly what I told him. Exactly what I told him. You know, it takes two. Like you said before, it takes two to tango. So, uh, you know, if you guys aren't on the same page, plenty of women out there. He gets a good hit in your shoulders, though. He's, he's just hurt. That's it. He'll be all right. Yeah. I've been working here at Randall County over five years. My hometown is Desmouth County, Hereford. One of the best things I love about this place is uh, the food and how friendly everybody is. You just can't find anyone nicer, better than Texas. Hi, what do you got? Oh, she's in the car. She's pretty small, kind of feisty, I guess. Who is it? Uh, Amy. Amy. She's under arrest for an outstanding warrant for public intox. She's under the influence of alcohol tremendously. And she's been kicking and screaming and yelling. I'm in cuffs. Come on, the out. Y'all, y'all scared of, of a tiny little 120 pound girl in cuffs? That's funny. You can call my lawyer. I'll be happy to talk to all your hoes. I'm going to ask you some medical questions. You going to answer? No. They call me Sunshine up in this bitch. I got to put a lighter and some change. My husband has been being an ass all night. He, t he took everything from me. He took my keys. He took my phone. He took my cigarettes. He took everything. Now I'm in jail. 10 4. So I get into a big old fight? We get in a big old fight every day because he's a drunk. I don't deserve this. I didn't do anything wrong but come home. And then you bitches showed up with handcuffs and you can't even get the cuffs off. That's glorious because you're not a cop because you're a bitch. Y'all should know me by now. They call me sunshine. Enjoy it. All right, let's start walking. Yeah. Slowly. Walk faster than... OK, listen, I need you to walk slowly for me, OK? Then walk with me, bitch. I am walking with you, so walk slow. Uh, yeah, you're trying to hold me down and then tell me to walk slow, bitch. You want me to move? Move. Move me. Because I'm not scared of you. I don't care about you or any other hoe in this bitch. All right. All right, let go. Thank you. You want the cuffs off? You want the cuffs off? You want the cuffs off or no? Do you want them off or not? Okay, have a nice night. What, what happened? Like we got sent over there for a family fight. Her husband called saying the wife was, came home drunk and being disruptive. Hey, do you have any cash we show up, husband's outside. Mr. That, he like, said, my wife just got home. She's raising hell. Can you do something to help us? We go inside. She's very belligerent and upset. And she's like, I got a warrant for my arrest. Yep. Take uh -huh. me to jail. Put her in handcuffs and secured her in the car. She started kicking and screaming and yelling. And I had uh, Officer Williams follow me her out here. Her husband also was like, hey, he she's a warrant. Take her to jail. I don't want her in my house. Yeah. He needed a vacation from her, he said that. Is that what he said? That's what he said. I need a vacation from her so I won't bond her out and she can sit in here and think about what she did tonight. Well, what is, what's the charge the warrant for? Do you know? It's just for public intoxication. The so warrant from? For, it's yeah, okay. it's just one local. Oh, is that out of here? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank we you get guys. the warrant? Uh, she's slipped a cuff, and that could be a weapon, so we're going to get the cuffs off. The inmate prior that was in there got sandwiches, and those are the plastic baggies. Those came in. All right, guys, let's go get her. Put your hands through. You are not going to get charged with nothing. All right, get your hands in. All the way in. Put your hands in. I will tase you if you don't put your hands in. All right. Face the wall. Who's got a taser? I do. Face our honor. Keep it. Put your hands, leave them right there, and don't move. Zip my bag 
Hey, Mondo, and I ain't having that. She's freaking out, thinking that we're gonna charge her for drugs. And that was what it was. It was food. Amy, have you ever been here before? Yep, you remember me. What happened last night? Mm. Well, me and my husband got into a huge fight, and he let, well, I went outside, and he took off with my phone and my credit card and my ID. And I look like I'm a 12-year-old, so IDs come in handy. Did you hit the bar up? Well, yeah, but I mean, I wasn't white girl waste for sure. Not that <laughs> Maybe close. like two shots of gin dressed, two yellow bellies, that's it. I drink like a man. OK, Amy, today you're here for a warrant for public intoxication. Mm -hmm. And it's your only Denver. charge. You can get your step around this counter. Talk about crazy. But I didn't kick any of y'all, so I think I did good this time. That's always a good day right there. Right? Nobody got kicked in the face. Is this going to be the last time you're going to come see us, Amy? Hopefully. Well, I don't want to see you here again. I don't want to see you again. But I appreciate you being nice to me today. Yeah, I'll try. All right, just have a seat, Amy. The girl side? Yes, ma'am. She just needs to take care of her ticket and hopefully not see us again. I was born and raised in El Paso. Uh, after graduating high school, went to the military. It's nice living in the border, you know, having both cultures, you know, Mexican culture, come over here, American culture. It's a great place to live. How long have you been here, Officer Miller? I've been here uh, two years. Once upon a time, I was probably this close to being in your shoes. Really? Yeah. And what happened? What happened there? Uh, I took. I took a left turn in Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah. Should have never did it. Wow. Now, I was going to be a correction officer. What are you here for, man? Uh, failure to ID and a parole violation. A parole violation? Yeah. What were you on parole for, man? Stolen vehicle out of Midland. So you stole a vehicle, man? No, I didn't steal a vehicle. My girlfriend did. And you were blamed for it? We both were. Collective possession. How long were you out before you got rearrested again today, man? Uh, two and a half months. Two and a half months? Yes, I, I, I did it up myself. I left the halfway house. You left the halfway house? Yeah, purposely. Why? Because everybody's out there getting drunk, getting high. I ain't trying to do all I'm trying to change my life, and the situation I was no, in was not enabling me to do that. I chose to come back to jail than to keep myself in that position. I got nine months of parole, and I'd much rather do a lockup than be out there. It's bad out there. Yeah. I'd just rather be here, do the time, get out. Free. Yeah. I told my parole officer I was leaving. Don't say it says it, you know, if you're big enough to do it, then do what comes with it. Yeah. What are you gonna do after we get out, man? I will probably go back to Michigan. My folks are in Michigan. 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 My mom and dad live up there. Just wanna go to Michigan, get away from everything. No, I, I love Texas. Don't get me wrong, man. I love the state of Texas. If you're doing the right thing in life, this is probably the greatest state to live in. But if you're doing the wrong thing, obviously. You see where you end up. Yeah. Or if you choose to do the wrong thing, then that's where you end up. Yeah, and right. booking. We're going to finish processing you here, man. If you go down there, I, I can get a sack lunch. Once, once you're done here, we'll, we'll feed you. Awesome. Make sure you get something to eat. So you were trying to be a correction officer before? At one point in time, I wanted to be. Yeah. All my cousins are correction officers. Where, in Michigan? Yeah. My sister's a police officer. Oh, really? Wow. And you just went the wrong way. Took, took the wrong turn in Albuquerque. Took the wrong turn in Albuquerque. All right, well, hopefully you do good, man. Come on in here, man. We'll finish your process. And we'll get you going, all right, man? So this guy, you know, it looks like he, he really does want to change. So hopefully he gets his life together. Got a parole violation? You're not parole? No. Are you, have you been to prison? Yeah. I already discharged. What was it for, man? For a theft over 20000 A jewelry store. I got like 50 grand. A out. jewelry store? Sorry. And how long did they give you for, man? Two years. Two years? Yeah, I did all my time. I think uh, within a couple days, you see uh, a parole officer, and they'll come talk to you. We got your warrant, and they want you, man. It's really crazy. 
So, the jewelry store? Which one was it, man? Uh -huh. I forgot the name of the jewelry store, but me and my friend, we set it up for a couple months, and then we hit it during the daytime when they went to lunch. As soon as they went to lunch, one of them, he's, she stayed back, it was a girl who stayed back, and we ran in there. And she's like, oh, well, right now we're kind of closing all that, but we went with ski mask, you know? So she, right away, she kind of, she freaked out a little bit. So right away, we pulled her at gunpoint and everything, got her, made her get down on her knees, tied her up, got everything. We, we left it completely almost empty. We didn't tell nobody about it, but one day they got him. They got him first. And I was like, oh man, he better not say nothing about it. A couple weeks later, they went and picked me up. Yeah. So he was the one that snitched on me. That's why you got it. You can't trust nobody, you know? We're good for a good minute. We're straight. Yeah. Living good, eating good. We're partying, doing everything. Did you see, did you see all the story in the news? Yeah. What, what did you think about it, man? I laughed about it. You laughed about it? Yeah. Do you plan on changing? What, what do you think, man? What do you want to do, man? Right now, I'm facing, I got some other charges pending. I got three aggravated assaults with a deadly weapon pending. They're going to hit me with some time after that. But after that, when I get out, and I haven't changed since I was 13 years old, why change now? You don't grind, you don't eat. You got to do whatever you got to do to eat. If I have to rob somebody, I'm going to rob them. That's all I know. I'm going to do the prints on the computer, man. Then after that, I'll take you to your floor. And then just, I guess you'll just wait till uh, they come over here and talk to you, man. Bad follows you. The bad follows me everywhere I go. So regardless of what the outcome is, you still want to continue your lifestyle? Yeah. You love this life, man? This, this life, I don't like being in jail, but I love the thug life, the gang banging and all that stuff, drugs, party, the girls. That's what you like, man? That's what I love. All right, man. Yeah. Hopefully the thing works out for you, man. Hopefully. We'll see, hopefully they come talk to you soon, and then not. Uh... It should be straight. I'm not even on parole. I'm telling you some crazy things, man. All right, man. We'll see you. He's living the uh, life of the streets. I mean, he, he doesn't look like he's going to change his ways. He doesn't like being here, but I mean, unfortunately, the way he's living, he's going to end up coming back over and over. First female in my family actually to be in law enforcement. I've always wanted to work and serve my community actually because I live here and I love living here. So if I can at least take care of that, I know I've done my job for the day. We responded to a disturbance. The sister was calling. He was dispute with the father. Mm -hmm. We caught up to a family, and that's where he was hiding under a vehicle. So. We had him handcuffed there. Mm -hmm. So we told him where he was under arrest for PI. At the time, he told me he wasn't on any drugs. He had only one beer. Mm -hmm. The family was saying that he was uh, possibly on spice. Okay. We didn't find anything, so we, that's what we were arresting for the public intoxication. Put your shirt on. Are you okay? Don't fall over, man. Don't fall over. Fuck for what? I guess I like, like eight bars. Eight bars? Eight bars. And, and that's it, or you're smoking or something else? Or just so I can let my medical know what, what, what else did you do? Did you say anything else? Just bars? Just bars. You smoked spice also? Palanco? Yeah, you were right before I came in. Right before you came in? Just sit down, sir, take a okay? Seat. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. I want you to sit down so you don't fall down. Just take a seat. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me, you're making a few like a big deal. No, 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 we're just waiting on the nurse to come check. He said he took like eight bars. Right now. I just took a pill, that's it, man. How many? Just like one and a half. What was it? Standing wise. Look, man, I just want pills and water sleep in my room. So how many do you take per day, more or less? Like six. Six a day? So right now when you got arrested, did you take a couple of them or what? Well, I took them like, like in the morning. I'm good. Okay. No, you, you're, you're, still, you're still under the influence, OK? We can tell by your pupils, all right? I've popped pills since I was like 11 years old. You didn't take hard feel? I'm going to talk to the officer real quick and take your vitals, OK? Put your hand behind your back, man. man I ain't going to do We're darkest, man. We're not going to tell you one more time. Okay. All right? Okay. I'm going to tell you one more time. Look, Keep your hands behind your look, back. So, I will say, come what back. is that? That's a threat. No, it's not a threat. No. Yes, it is. It's no, an order, it's not. Sir. It's an I'm order. I'm giving you an order. No look, I'm giving you hey, an order. Oscar, Keep your hands back. Oscar, right they're doing here. my orders. Put your hand behind your back. Let me check your back. Check your blood pressure first. Look, you, 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 no, no, you have the right to touch it. Um, listen, OK, listen, listen. If, if I were to touch you, you need to relax. Hey man, relax. you can't touch me. Relax, relax. 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 That's all you gotta do. Man, I'm relaxing. I'm talking. Just wait, Try not wait to talk. Hold on. Okay. Let's no, get no, your no, blood no. pressure. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on.
So just 15 minute observation? Okay. Just leave him on the clothes for now, because he's knocked out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oscar, mm. you want a sandwich? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, give me a few, okay? Right. We'll be right okay? back. We'll be right back. Okay, you'll call your mom right now. You're here for public intoxication, that's it. I'm surprised he's still awake. He's here for public intoxication, and all he has to pay is 167 to go up. He's vomited. He's vomited. <laughs> Oscar, call the nurse. Uh, I'll be here, Rick. Oscar. Where's Rick? Call hey, him. you want a little bit of water? Hey, wake up. Oscar. Oscar. Make sure to call EMS and ATM. Tell LT about EMS. Oscar. Talk to us, Oscar. 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 Talk to us, bro. Keep looking at us, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Push it, push it more in, push it more in. Push the, push it more in. Hey. Oscar, you want a little bit of water? Hey, you want a little bit of water? Wake up, Oscar. Oscar, wake up, Oscar. What's your girlfriend's name? Destiny. Destiny, how long have you been with Destiny? A year. Please, please, right now. I just wanted to say bye to her. Why do you want to say bye? Yeah. You have to live for your for your mom and your dad and your girlfriend and your brother and your sister, okay? Yeah. Stay awake, Oscar. Come on, wake up. Hold on, Oscar. Where am I? You're in county. Ma'am, I want to see my girlfriend. Please. You will see your girlfriend right now, Oscar. We're going to go get take you to get better. Uh, so what happened when I got here? We were getting him assessed with the nurse. So I put him on an observation, and then the guard's like, no, ma'am, he, he threw up. So we take him on a triage and stretcher for overdose. Once he gets up, medically cleared, he'll, he'll be uh, transported back to the jail, and he'll be booked for the PIs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oscar, you received him back from the hospital. Um, he just got back. He was treated over there for uh, being uh, under the influence of uh, narcotics. He came in pretty messed up. They treated him, now he's back. We're gonna see how he's doing. Okay, I was informed that you had consumed uh, certain drugs. Yes, sir. Yes. Could you tell me uh, why'd you do that? I started doing this since I was 12 years old. How old are you now? I'm 20. I was introduced to in school. My parents had something and they offered me, they offered me and I told them no. They came back again and I started thinking about it and I tried it and I couldn't stop no more. And what was that drug that they offered you? Uh, it was a Spice K2. The whole time I overdosed already seven times. It, it appears that you yourself are, are, are just asking for help. You're tired of it yourself. I'm trying to stop right now because I, my little brother is growing up and I don't want to see him the same as me. Has he, has he witnessed you doing sir, drugs? Sir, he... Uh, he witnessed uh, when I overdosed. How do you think that affected him? Sir, he's the worst thing ever. I see my little brother crying and crying, thinking that I was gonna, thinking, thinking that I was gonna be gone and never come back. You are aware of the repercussions that your drug use yes, sir. has caused. You're aware of that. <laughs> you have a what? My baby died with that drug I've been using. Say again? My girlfriend was pregnant and uh, she died because the baby died because of me. So you lost your child. I'm sorry to hear that. So, so you you already, it's already caused one life. It don't need to cause two more lives. You would have had a family. You would have had a little boy. Why? You know, your little brother. You would have had that. That's worth more than anything else. Have you set yourself up a plan? I just want to hook my mom. Short-term goals, that's all. And if it's one day at a time, it's one day at a time. And then you envision, you know, what you want to be, where you want to be in six months. And then you take it from there. And you go a little further, you go a year. Then you go five years, OK? Yes, sir. When we release you, I'm going to talk to you again yes, sir. and see what you come up with. OK, because I don't want to see you here in jail again. Yes, Especially sir. now that you told me you got a little brother that looks up to you. Yes, sir. OK? Yes, sir. All right, hands behind your back. Oh. All right, appreciate that lot, you got
What is Secure Detox 1? Secure Detox 1. I was born and raised here in Amarillo. Um, I went to school here in Amarillo. I've been here just a little over eight years with the Rennell County Sheriff's Office in the jail division. I love what I do. Uh, I love being from Texas. Texas is the greatest nation there is. How to do? Hey, Bo. You all right, man? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, what do you charge today? Forgery of a financial instrument. Well, let me be the welcome committee here. You under the influence of drugs or alcohol, man? No. Do you have a history of drug or alcohol use? Uh, uh smoke marijuana. Time. There you go. A lot of those. Okay. How much weed do you smoke? Um, a lot, man. I smoke a lot of weed. So you smoked some weed today? No, uh, maybe this morning. You yeah. know, but I mean, really just like, it was like right back go. Okay. What time did you get up this morning? Uh, like 6.30. 6.30, okay. Kind of a little wake and bake? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly. Uh, do you hear noises or voices? I don't know. I was, I was like, real big in church, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to read the Bible a lot, and I learned that real love moves in silence, and I think that the fact that I'm reading it to the point where I can just hear the words, mm -hmm. you know? Like, you kind of get into what you're reading. <laughs> yeah. I got Just you. like that. I got you, man. You feel down, depressed, a little interest in doing things, man? Well, yeah, man. I'm losing my interest in everything. OK. Except <laughs> red bone bras or uh, except for girls and marijuana. Yeah, certain type of girls though. Red bones and red balls. What's red balls? Red bones. Like, red bones. What's that? Like pretty colored girls. You know? oh. Almost my skin color. Maybe a little lighter. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and uh, white girls with red hair or um, black hair. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's all I got for you now. Okay. All, all right. right man. Grab your boots and your socks. Walk over here to this blue door. It'll open up. Mm -hmm. You'll go in there, set your boots down. The deputy will be with you in a second. All right, man. How'd you come in contact with him? The bank called us after he'd been cashing checks all over some construction company out of Pampa. Well, he was in there trying to cash one for like three grand. So I called that construction company in Pampa, and they said, yeah, we've got check 4161, but we only wrote it for 189 bucks, and it's already been cashed. They stalled until we could get there. He got three grand somewhere today. Mm -hmm. He didn't have any of it on him right now, but yeah. that's all we got right now. Well, all right, man. So appreciate it. Yeah, I'll if you need something. Okay, thanks, right, man. Well, we'll see you. And you know what you're here for? You got oh, a yeah. forgery of a financial instrument. <clears throat> it's a state jail felony, so you won't have a bond until tomorrow when you see a judge. Okay. Where uh, where'd you get the check from? Ah oh, man, you know. I took this survey on the internet, you know what I'm saying? And that was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna send me a check. If you, fin if you do your survey right, you know what I'm saying? And then you, like, get this many yeses and this many noes, or whatever, we're gonna see this money, you know what I'm saying? So I did the survey, and they sent me the check. I mean, it was just something crazy, man. So it's like an internet fraud deal. Internet something, fraud? Yeah, okay. something like that. All right. Tomorrow, uh, you'll see a judge, and they'll set a bond uh, until then. You know, you won't have a bond. So, you ever been treated for heart trouble or hypertension? Actually, one time, yeah, I did have heart trouble, man. I smoked a whole bunch of weed, man. And, like, I got real paranoid. Spice is my first time smoking a spice. Man, it tripped me out, too. Like, what's a, what's a spice? Oh, y'all know what that is? Like, the synthetic weed? Oh, synthetic marijuana? Yeah, man, it's trolled me crazy, dude. You ever been treated for drug addiction? Never been to rehab? Nah. I'm pretty healthy, you know pretty what I'm saying? Pretty healthy guy? Yeah. OK. You ever attempt suicide? Not that I know of, man. One time I was dying, uh, drinking a whole bunch of lean one time. I almost killed myself. I almost flatlined. Okay. I've seen it. It was so crazy. You should have seen it, man. I was so scared. You heart intentionally beating. do that? Heart barely beating, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even feel your heart beat. I don't know how to explain it to you, because I do so much I do so much type of stuff that, like, it's just so hard to explain, you know what I'm saying? What I don't know how to explain that. What makes you want to do all that? Do I, I don't do a lot of drugs. You know what I'm saying? It's just like yourself. type of things that I do is why. I mean, like pain, you know what I'm saying? You just drink the lane to get you out of the pain, you know what I mean? Drink the pain Make away. things easier. Like. All right, you want to go ahead and uh, have a seat? I'll call you back up here in a couple right. minutes. We'll get your picture taken, get your fingerprinted, okay? Okay. All right. 
that has got to be the happiest possible felon that I've seen come through here. It obviously hasn't set in yet that, you know, what he's here for, uh, it's gonna stick with him for the rest of his life. Possible felony conviction and, you know, the guy's all smiles. this jail they're they're normal people who have hard lives or they just they just might make a mistake but if you want to make a great career in corrections if your job is not judge and jury your job is safety and security i call him in fear of my life fear of my life he put his hands on me calm down calm down uh -huh. I, I can't believe you're taking me to jail when i called you for help same for him right but, Calm down, relax. I can't believe you. You got stuffed in your bra, right? No. So you're gonna have to do a strip on you. I don't have nothing, sir. Okay. I don't do drugs. The only thing I've done is pot. Calm down. Okay. Relax. She just had the KPS warrant? Yeah. No, you didn't find anything else on her? She had some paraphernalia in her purse, and we'll write her citation for that. So. Okay. I had three hours of sleep last night. I finally got a place to stay. Finally got all my stuff unpacked, and then he up and uproots it, and comes and picks me up and takes me in the truck and would not let me out of the truck. I'm sorry, but I came out of an abusive relationship. You don't dare take me like that. I need to get some medical call. questions from you so we can try to help you. Uh -huh. That is so messed up. Uh -huh. Hey, Melanie, will you answer some questions no. first? Why not? Being taken from my house hey, and listen. a truck against my will. We were not okay. there. Well, I don't know what questions you want me to answer. Medical. Well, my life is off. What did I have? What? I ain't got no health problems. All right, listen, you're not going to answer the questions to cooperate, then we can't go farther with you, okay? I just came out of a bad situation. And we're going to try to help you, but well, I cannot help you if you're going to be like this. Please. You understand? Well, come with me. Let's walk this way. You know, look, I don't, I've never been to this process, okay? And I'm okay. scared, okay? And then when you calm down, I'll I'm explain calm. it to you. No, you're not. Relax your hands. I just got the beat out of you. I'm to go, and you know. I will be more than happy to explain and talk to you when you calm down. Well, her story was she called us, and I guess she was arguing with her boyfriend, but she was in the car. And the only thing the call note said was, he won't let me out of the truck. I find her at the police department parking lot, and she tells me that, uh, you know, she's got a warrant for paraphernalia, and she uh, was living with her boyfriend, who's a drug dealer, and he loaded up all her property in his truck from her garage that she was staying at at some unknown person's house. She said that she never called us, and then all of a sudden they got in an argument, and she just jumped out of the truck. We tried to take her over to the residence where she said she'd been staying at. When we got over there, the people who lived there, they don't even know her. And so we were like, okay, she's telling us all kinds of stuff, so I just took her on the on the warrant. There's, I'm even gonna try to do her a favor. I'm not even gonna book her for the public in talks. I'm just gonna book her for her warrant. Hopefully in six days she can sober up, so. All right, thank you. Melanie, do you remember who I am, yes, Corporal Gibbons? Yes. You look a lot better from when I first saw you when you walked in. Are you, are you doing better? Uh, a lot better. Okay, do you remember uh, telling me how you hated God. Oh, yes. And you were screaming at God and telling me I that. hated God, man, but I really don't. I was going through a spiritual battle. I've been going through a spiritual battle for about five months. I was debating if I was going to relapse in heroin or not. I haven't done heroin in so long, in eight, nine years. And um, staying sober off that stuff has been, it was getting real hard, and I was really about to just crumble. I really felt like God hated me for a long time. and. Because if something bad can happen to somebody, it happens to me. Ow. It happens to me. And um, in this last five months, it really has been a doozy. Before you started doing heroin, was your life OK, or was it? My life, I knew nothing about living. I was raised up in an abusive family. My mom used to sell my body to her drug dealers. She stabbed me in the head with a butcher knife, tried to kill me. Um, I ended up in state's custody at nine years old. So and, you're telling uh, me my that mom whole entire life has been mm -hmm. screwed up. Pretty much screwed up. I, I don't know what happened last night. Maybe it was just that pen up well, frustration. Everyone blows up. I can, tell you, what, I can up. tell you what happened last night. I had panic attacks. I didn't realize that I have panic attacks until my boyfriend now, Rusty, pointed them out. I see things a different way. I process things a different way to protect myself, I guess. The clothes, the way I was dressed, that totally took my dignity away. Here I am, guys staring at me, and, and I protect my body now because 
I don't want just anybody looking at it um, or seeing it because it was taken from me for so long. Do you remember me, though, trying to talk to you and trying to calm you down? I do. And telling you 30 minutes, quiet. I and do, and I tried blanket. 30 minutes, and I was just debating with God in that room. That wasn't a punishment. It was me making sure you were safe. That's why I ended up not doing nothing. I was waiting for you. And to I do apologize for my behaviors. That was not me. That was a panic me, I guess. There are programs here in Amarillo that can help you, OK? Absolutely. But I do got to get back to oh, booking. Yes, Sorry. Um, I really like to sleep, so. Okay. Get some sleep, Melanie. Thank you. I hope she gets help and she does great. I hope I never see her again. I've been working here for about 11 years. Uh, I was born and raised in El Paso, grew up in the Lower Valley. The great thing about living in El Paso is the weather. The weather's great. You can go bike riding, ride your Harley, exercise, running. You can do all that. We were about to interview a guy named, by the name of Jose. He's been here before. They just brought him from court. He's here on a detainer. I agreed to assault with a deadly weapon. Jose is a known gang member. He's a Chuco Tango gang member. This is one of the identifiers for um, Chuco Tango. Uh, this is the C for Chuco, and the T is the pick from UTIP, because this is our UTIP, the University of El Paso. Chuco Tango. They're considered a security threat. They're always assaulting, and they're trying to recruit. In the downtown facility, we lock them down. We're going to book him and we'll go from there. Jose, right here, Jose, right here. So what's going on, Jose? Uh, nothing. Nothing, man. Where are you coming from? Uh, the free. From court. From court? What happened, man? What they sent you? Uh, they just got me back for some violation, technical violation. Just got out two weeks ago. Now where were you at? Were you here in downtown or at the annex? I was at the annex in 1025, Chukotango. Can I see your tattoos of Chukotango? My main stop out right here. K20 right there. What's that for? Chukotango. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, it's the 3 and the 20. It's the letter, letter C. And the 20 is the tango. And then I got the CT right here. Where'd you do all these tests, man? Uh, I got some done in prison. What made you join the gang, man? It's not a gang, actually. We we're, we're against all gang activities. That's what made me join. It's a group of people that help each other out when we locked up. They got me in lockdown all the time. Even right there, I got a whole big room for myself. Wouldn't that be better? Hell no. Nah. I like <laughs> talking to people. You like talking? Hell yeah. yeah. What's up with this charge, bro? Did you get in a fight out there with a deadly weapon? Nah, actually, it was two aggravated kidnappings. I put my baby mom on the trunk and her boyfriend. You you did what? It was, I put my baby mom on the trunk. You threw her in the trunk? Yeah, well, yeah. Why'd you do that, man? Because she was cheating on me with my best friend. But I got him dropped down to two aggravated assaults with a deadly weapon. He carries two to 20. So they, they had to hit you with the kidnapping at first? Yeah, at first. Yeah. And they dropped it down, and that's when I signed the probation sign. Oh, OK. I got um, eight years deferred. So I don't want to be locked up no more. I was raised here in El Paso. I've been getting locked up since I was 13, 23 already. I've been on probation since I was a young kid with the monitors, all kinds of cutting it off, going to Dallas on the run. Uh, just raising no parents. You have any questions? Uh, no, no, no. Can I use the phone? Of course you can, man. Awesome. Go ahead and use it. Thanks, man. Very outgoing, likes to talk, and he's just 23 years old, and he's very bright. He carries himself pretty well, but he's just on the wrong path, and sooner or later, he's going to realize that. We'll see what happens with him. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not even going to have a court or nothing. I'm going to just... Yeah, I'm gonna just get released in 30 days because of technical violation. And it looks like a floor from upstairs flooded the tank. They flooded a tank upstairs. They're probably upset about something. It's going all the way down to the basement. It's pretty bad. So let's head up there and see what's going on. Uh, sixth floor. I'm thinking it's something to do with the Chuco Tango gang. That's a floor that we usually put our chuco tangos in. Floor six. Um, let's see what's going on. What's 
What's going on, guys? Chukotango. Chukotango? Yeah, as I said, it was the Chukotango tank. I don't know what they're mad about. Um, this is usually where we lock them down. Look at all, this is all the water. Usually they just flood, flood it, keep flooding. It's coming from all the tanks, all eight tanks. They were asking about some additional plates. I uh, wanted some, and we told them they didn't have any. We had an order exchange for the guys that were working, and they didn't, they got upset about it, and this is when they went how they responded. This is just over food. They want extra food, because everybody gets one tray, and if there's extras, we do give it to them, but this is the results for not having extra plates. It's more work for the trustees of anything. This is why we isolate them, because they pretty much checked up. They're one of the ones that we locked down, Chukotango, and they're just making things worse on themselves. But now they're pretty much going to be facing disciplinary. I've lived here in El Paso my whole life, and you know, uh, we are a border town. We've had some of the famous gunfighters, John Wesley Harden, Billy the Kid, coming through here. Some famous guests, Johnny Cash, some people that have checked in and checked out. Let me get some information off you. So I couldn't put your mom because she's here. Did you guys get caught like doing the same thing or what? No, we weren't doing the same thing. We were in the same store, but we weren't in the same together. And my mom said she had put some stuff in her purse, and I was looking at the baby stuff. So when the lady told her something, like she just came at her, I heard her arguing with my mom. So I started arguing with the lady at the at the store. So that your mom could take off? No, 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 because I didn't know my mom had done that. And she called the cops and everything. When he pulled us over and stuff, um, my mom, she had her purse with her. She never told me she had anything. She said, I admitted to him, OK, I do have it. And she gave it to him. She gave it to the officer. What was she stealing? Or what was in it? She was got a couple of stuff because she she didn't have no more money. And she she forgot to pay for it. No, she didn't forget to pay for it, but she just had a low on money. Oh, she intended to take it without paying for it. I thought maybe she walked out and she just forgot to pay for it. Oh, no. She, she actually she took it because she didn't have yeah, enough she money. Confessed, to... Yes. She was, she was running low, and we have a baby shower on Saturday, and she wanted to get a couple of things for my niece. But you didn't know about it. Or no, you knew I about didn't. it? Kind of guilty by association? Yes. Because you guys were together? Unfortunately, it was your mom. It was my mom. It was my mom. And she confessed and she said she's sorry and everything. She will never do it again. She said it's the first time and it's the last time. Well, I'm sure now <laughs> they have you as a, a deaf class C. So, Under 50, yeah, it's a so misdemeanor. It's a, it's a misdemeanor. And they gave you a bond of $500. So you didn't expect that from her? I told her, Mom, did you have no more money? She's like, I'm like she's like, well, we had $10. Like, you should have told me, Mom. I would have paid for it. That's what happened. And it would have been case closed, case walked out, closed, yeah. and you know, but you guys then, wouldn't be here together. Yes, yes, that's the case. But All right, then. So you know what? Go ahead and have a seat right there, and we'll go ahead and get your paperwork and everything processed. And, uh, OK, so thank you. Your side. Ma'am, you're, you're the mom? Yes, I'm the mom. What happened here? I just made a bad choice. I just decided to just... And I had money in my pocket. I just decided to just take some stuff from the store. And ma'am, is there anything you really want to tell your mom? Tell my mom, you know, and, then, and it wasn't right and everything, but I forgive her, you know, and it, it's something that she did out of impulse. She's not like that. It was a mistake. You know, it hurts more her than it does me because she got me in trouble. And it, it's not really, that's my mom. I don't do that. It's my mom and I forgive her. I love her no, to she dance. doesn't. They're like, she does everything for us. They're my daughters and my friends, you know? I, yeah, she is my best friend. And it'll, it's going to get us closer, too. And then we can, you know, we're in jail together. Not taking things for granted. I mean, a mom and a daughter in jail together. I mean, we've been through a lot already. And, and this is one we lesson have, learned. We, we have that communication, and that's what gets us Well, that's through. important. That's important. Oh, we Thank you. Well, I mean, you guys learn from it. Now you just got to make sure everything works out for you guys. Yes. And uh, get things so square. We're both going to go to jail. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent, guys. Good luck to you guys, OK? Well, this is probably, hopefully, the last sound of the doors slamming behind them they hear. They seem like they've bonded. It's a bonding experience here at jail, too. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. 
Mommy's thinking about my own, mommy's thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone. I got 